The first family contains the up and the down. The second pair is the strange and the charmed, like I just summarized. The third contains the bottom and the top. Three quarks are not observed, however. They are always confined into composite particles called hadrons. So hadrons, example, would be the proton or the neutron, for example. These particles include the baryons, which are combinations of three quarks, the most familiar examples of which are the proton and the neutron. So again, the baryons, like I was mentioning, is, is a composite of quarks. The most familiar ones are, of course, the protons and the neutrons, and these are the um, ones that we know and love, and pretty much in cosmology, that's what people mean. They mean the protons and neutrons, generally, when they, when they mean baryons. There are many other hadron states, but most of them are very unstable. So you might make these hadron states, which are composites of quarks, but if they're super unstable and you never meet them in real life or in nature, then it might not be something that you want to deeply study. They might be produced in accelerator experiments, like the ones we've set up, for example, at the Large Hadron Collider, et cetera, et cetera, or in the Big Bang, but do not hang around for long before decaying. So unfortunately, a lot of these more exotic particles, if you will, in the particle physics summary called the standard model of particle physics include particles that are, they don't hang around for long. They decay uh, within a short time. And so because they decay, we would not really um, see them too much, encounter them too much. Using our current understanding, it seems that within one millionth of a second of the beginning of time, Quarks have sufficient energy to tear themselves free. At earlier times than this, the familiar hadronic particles dissolve into a soup of quarks. Each of the fermions also has a mirror image version called its antiparticle. So you might remember we talked about uh, like two, basically a, a pair um, at one point, and that's because all of these particles, all these fermions actually also have antiparticles. Uh, in a sense, um, ah, never mind. I was going to say something else, but it, it's not important right now. 